composition has always been first in my heart, but I've had for many years now a kind of sideline in editing and anthologizing, if that's the right word. And I was introduced to that by Sir David Wilcox. The idea is that a lot of the standard works in that particular genre will be there in one handy set of covers at an inexpensive price, but also some kind of neglected children. You know, pieces that I think are especially lovely or valuable and which are not well known, but I hope that they might become better known. We came around to one that I had always planned to edit myself of sacred choruses. I set to work and I thought, well, what are the sacred choruses I really couldn't do without on my desert island? And we found room for 28 of them. I wish there had been more, a volume two will beckon but you will find a lot of what you will expect. I mean, the Handel Hallelujah Chorus and See the Conquering Hero. Um, there's Bach's Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring. But there are also some pieces that almost nobody knows. There's Mendelssohn's Daughters of Zion. Uh, daughters of who? Um, you know, um, that comes from his unfinished Oratorio Christus which he was working on at the time of his death. There's a beautiful Pia Jesu, which is in this book. And I predict that that will become the one that turns into standard repertoire. When I handed the book over, it was with a great sense of relief because it's more labor intensive in a way than composing. Because when you compose, you're just making something up out of nothing. When you're editing music, by other composers, you have to check all your sources. A job not made any easier by the fact that in this particular volume, there's mostly um, orchestral accompaniments that go with the original. And I said, I want there to be good, clear, well typeset parts available for orchestras and conductors. And uh, lo and behold, I had to do all that myself. So um, I oversaw that personally. On top of that, I thought we need proper organ accompaniments because any organist will tell you that if they're doing Haydn's creation in church, say, um, they have to work from a piano reduction. And the piano and the organ are not the same. And what you have to do is translate a piano accompaniment into something that works on the organ. And I thought, well, that's not good enough. I think we ought to be able to provide organists with a proper three-stave organ version of the music that they will be playing. And that is a companion volume, um, sort of spiral bound so it lies open on, on the organ bench. I will not be doing the next volume in a hurry, I think, but um, I must admit I'm pleased and happy that this project, so long planned, has finally come to fruition.